average woman spends about $15,000 on makeup in her lifetime. And of that amount, $1,780 goes toward lipstick. So here with your deep dive on lip color, obviously a favorite, is Derek Selby. Yeah. So lipstick is one of those things, I find that it's, it's easy. That's exactly the easy. reason it's easy. It's the easiest cosmetic, and it's also usually the first cosmetic. Right. So if you think of little girls or little boys, um, <laughs> their stories. You start with the um, lips. Yeah, that's where you usually start with something on the lips. So yeah. here's some interesting information. I have some trivia, and I have some cool top sellers, which okay. is obviously fascinating. Yes. So in the US, Revlon Super Lustrous Lipstick, they sell one every four minutes in the US. Wow. I know. That is a powerful lipstick. And it shows you the power of cosmetics, right? That's and right. the consumer. MAC sells one lipstick per second globally. <gasps> One lipstick per yes, second. Yes, we're talking. They just sold a whole bunch of lipsticks. Oh my gosh. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. And Ching. this shade right here, this red, which is a beautiful red called Ruby Woo. Mm, I know it well. They sell, it's one of their best sellers. Yeah. They sell one of those, four, sorry, four of those every minute globally. Amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. So that that's when you know you've got a good red. That's right. You know, if everybody's buying them, yeah. that's and incredible. Yeah, and it's interesting where things are around the world as yes. well. I think that's interesting. Absolutely. During the war, mm -hmm. going way back, pre my time, pre your time. <laughs> Yes. Cosmetics were rationed <laughs> yeah. during World War II. But Winston, so kind of a luxury, right? Yeah, but Winston Churchill felt that lipstick improved morale. Oh. And so lipstick was kind of encouraged. And a, a known fact in the cosmetic industry is that during a recession, lipsticks actually go sales up. go up. I'm, uh, you know what that makes sense. Because what you're trying luxury. to do, is, it's an affordable luxury, mm -hmm. and you're trying to take control over what you can control. That's exactly. You can control your lip color. That's right. You know, I've always said I'll always have my own um, bank account because I never want someone to be able to say to me, How don't spend $18 <laughs> on lipstick. <laughs> yeah, there That's you go. me. It's my control, <laughs> yeah, right? Totally. Now, after the war, this mm -hmm. I thought was fascinating was Revlon. This is Revlon's Fire and Ice. This yeah. was launched in 1952, but the campaign was encouraging women to wear lipstick for yeah. themselves. Oh, nice. Because prior to that, all of the advertising was about men. Right. So I love that. I think that's very Who interesting. Cares about them? And look at look at women today. It's like yeah. wear it for you. Who cares wear about them? Wear it for them? you. Wear it for you. Absolutely. That's interesting. Another interesting thing here, this is from Estee Lauder, and this is their shade Rebellious Rose. Okay. This is the best-selling Estee Lauder lipstick in Canada. Yeah. In North America. Ooh. In the UK. Oh. Around the world. Okay. So popular because it looks great on deeper complexions like yours yeah. or on really fair complexions as well. Okay. And it's done so well for them that they've actually introduced a liquid matte version Ooh. and there's actually a lip gloss as well. That's cool. So, yeah, it is kind of cool, right? So And that is what they should do. Like give yeah. people the whole family That's right. if they love that color. Yeah. They can wear it a million different ways. Now when you look, this is what surprised me when I was doing the research on this segment. So mm -hmm. these are MAC's top five lipstick shades. Okay. This is their top shade which is like a deep chili. Yeah, please. And notice how it's very powdery. Yeah, it and it's is. Very it's very matte. matte. So it's devoted to chili as devoted the shade. Devoted to chili. But I thought that's so interesting. Here, I'll just show you my hand, that this is their best seller. I wonder, do you think that looks good on all di uh, like different complexions? Do you I think that that's that. what it's about? No, Personally, huh? no, I wouldn't. I would I have thought why. it would have been something more like this shade, which is called Velvet Teddy. I just find that with nudes, though, they really are dependent on the, your, um, skin tone. your skin tone, but, yeah. but your lip color. Absolutely. Right? So some yeah. of us have really dark, deep, black, br dark brown that's lips. Right. Some of us have light pink lips. That's right. And your nude is so influenced by that. Yeah. So that would be a toughie. And so this is kind of fun here from Revlon. Uh -huh. This shade, which is called Plum Baby, this plum, yeah. is the best selling lipstick shade in the Maritimes for Revlon. Oh, in the Maritimes. In the Maritimes. That's interesting. So Atlantic Canada. Yeah. The shade here called Bear Affair, which is a really great nude, that's the best selling shade in Quebec. Okay. Okay. All right. I know. Ooh, Those sophisticated uh, ladies I know. with their nude lips. This shade that's called Soft Silver Rose mm -hmm. is the best selling shade in Ontario mm -hmm. and Western Canada, and it's their best selling shade nationally. That's a shocker to me. So I thought a red would be bigger in Ontario. So you know I don't what? know why I feel like Ontario's red. Yeah, but well, what I think is fascinating is 
This is mm -hmm. Max's bestseller. Mm -hmm. This is Revlon's bestseller. Keep and this up. is Estee Lauder's bestseller. Oh, Look how different. Very interesting. They're all very different. Yeah. And the key thing is wear lipstick for you with a shade that you love. That's right. right? It all that's has to be about what you, yeah. yeah and that's sure. why it's an affordable luxury. You that's wear right. it for you. Yeah.